Have you ever wondered where your water comes from when you turn on your tap? Hi, my name is Barry and today I'm going to show you how your water gets treated. The journey begins here at Lake Ontario. An intake pipe big enough to drive a car through extends two kilometers offshore and lies at the bottom of Lake Ontario, 10 meters deep. The end of this pipe is covered by a screen to prevent large pieces of debris from entering the water treatment facility. Let's go there now. We're now at the facility and I'm going to show you each step of the water treatment process. Here is where water first enters the facility. Every day we can process up to 820 million litres of water. That can fill up to 330 Olympic sized swimming pools. Once inside the facility, the water flows through these traveling screens where a copper mesh prevents smaller items like fish and plant life from entering. At the Lakeview Water Treatment Facility, we turn oxygen into ozone. But first, we have to get the oxygen to our facility. The easiest way to transport oxygen is in liquid form. Once it's here, we keep it cool in these large tanks, which is why ice forms even on a summer day like today. We then transport the oxygen into our facility where it's converted into ozone. Let's go take a look. This is the ozone generator room. Inside this generator, an electrical current is passed through the liquid oxygen and converts it into ozone gas. Next, we diffuse the ozone into the water as tiny bubbles. This is part of the disinfection process. The ozonated water remains in these large concrete tanks for 30 minutes before we add sodium bisulfate to quench or remove the ozone before the water moves on to the next step. This makes up the first step of the disinfection process. We'll now look at the next step in water treatment. The disinfected water flows from the ozone contactors to our biologically activated carbon contactors. Here, the water flows in from the top and filters through tiny pieces of carbon which have been heat treated and resemble the carbon found in a home water filter. Harmless bacteria live in the crevices of these tiny carbon pieces. These bacteria consume the organic material broken up by the disinfection process. This step helps to remove a lot of the bad taste and odor from the water. These tanks are 5 meters deep with over 3 meters of biologically activated carbon at the bottom. Every 5 to 7 days these tanks are backwashed. Clean air and water are forced backwards through the system to break up and flush out anything stuck in the carbon. Next we'll look at the ultrafiltration membrane process. The water flows from the biologically activated carbon contactors to a series of filter membrane units. The units are made up of tiny membrane fibers like this. This is a model of a membrane fiber. A fiber is a tiny tube with millions of microscopic holes on the outside. We draw water into the tube using vacuum pressure. The holes are so small that only water can pass through and pathogens, bacteria and particles are left on the outside. To filter the water on a large scale, we have 12 membrane trains, each holding 55,000 liters of water. Each train has 672 modules. That equals over 282 million membrane fibers. We lifted the cassette from the train. So now we can see the fibers are grouped into modules. Each module is made up of 35,000 fibers. Now the water is clean and almost ready for distribution. These blue pipes collect the clean water from the membrane trains. Before the water heads out to our reservoir, we add a small amount of chlorine to keep the water clean and disinfected as it heads over to your tap. We also add a small amount of fluoride to help promote dental health. As we prepare the water to leave the facility, we constantly monitor its quality to ensure that it meets the Ministry of the Environment's stringent water quality standards. We also test the water manually four times a day for over 100 different parameters. And back here in the control rooms, our operators monitor the entire facility and each stage of the water treatment process. For example, they control the backwashing that we saw in the biologically activated carbon contactor gallery. They ensure the membrane trains are functioning properly and they determine chemical dosages such as ozone. The blue pipes from the facility carry the clean water to an underground reservoir. Reservoirs are huge storage tanks for water and are located all around Peel region. 
pumping stations push the water out into a network of underground water mains that connect to your tap. Water treatment is a complicated process. It takes up to four days from the time the water leaves Lake Ontario until it reaches your tap. And it's ready to drink.